Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So today I'm here to do a kind of spring look because, um, well, spring is here <laughs> and it's quite sunny in uh, London just in general at the moment, which is pretty good. Uh, so I wanted to do a kind of spring look before the weather starts changing again because we know what it's like in the UK. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's snowing. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, let's do something different today. Um, I'm going to be using some yellows and oranges, it's a bit different for me because I like to use reds and dark colours and blues and purples and stuff but I thought we're going to steer away from that today and just do something different. So um, this is my morning voice again, I'm up early doing another video because why the hell not? <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with one of my face milks, I'm going with my coconut face milk which is part of my... Um, project pan so that seems to be doing okay like I'm, I'm terrible at things like project pan because i like buying lots of new products so that is i mean i'm using them and we're using another one of my products today as well um but yeah i just have a bad habit of buying makeup <laughs> non-stop so when it comes to just buying uh, product for spring like anything that I'm using of course you can use with your own substitute this is just ones that I feel that would work better in kind of a warmer weather even though I'm not going anywhere I'm still working from home like I've mentioned um, but for me these are products that I feel will give me a nice glow will kind of stay on for a while and just be kind of spring <laughs> spring type so yeah when I'm gonna just let that settle in I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Putty Primer now. So I've got this and I've got my little brush that I purchased as well, which you have to buy separately, which is okay. You don't have to have this, but for the application to go on just a little bit better, I feel like having a brush like this is really handy. So you might have one in your collection already. Uh, so I'm just going to use a little spatula to kind of scoop it out and then just going to put it in certain places. And then I always like to add just a bit more <laughs> because... I like to go over the top with my um, with my primers so at least with this primer your skin will actually kind of just feel a bit more uh, moisturized and soft which is of course what a lot of primers do because it's the barrier between uh, your skin and the foundation so you actually need a primer that is actually gonna just stay there all day and kind of soften up your skin especially if you do have quite dry skin like myself to kind of feel moisturised all day is a heaven <laughs> and of course there's lots of different moisturisers for that and you don't need makeup to do that but if you are going out and you want to have a nice spring look and just kind of not sweat a lot I mean this is pretty good I mean um, I know we have to wear masks outside still so that's going to be something we all have to get used to because they ain't going away anytime soon uh, so that's settled in really nicely just nice and just yeah quite shiny on the skin as well so I'm going to go in with foundation and I'm going to go in with my uh, Maybelline Superstay active active wear 30 hours um the reason is because I just like the way this feels on my skin as well and just it's longevity also I haven't I'm not going to test it out for 30 hours so that's not going to happen um but any time that I have used it when um i've left it on for maybe a few hours it does still look pretty good and the coverage is quite decent as well for someone like me who um really prefers like a high coverage foundation even though a lot of high coverage foundations can look really um just look really thick and look really kind of not that nice really because when you do wear a full coverage foundation of course the whole point of it is to sometimes look a bit cakey and look a little bit um heavy but sometimes this one doesn't this one doesn't feel heavy like at all um and i like to put on quite a bit because <laughs> i tend to pump out too much but then if you know how much you want to start pump wise then just kind of go for like one and two pumps um and this will give you a nice coverage in itself but as you can see that's covered up my um red like so quickly and it is gonna stay pretty much like this for the rest of the day like i'm gonna do my whole work day wearing this makeup and i'll see how it goes but 
I don't, I mean, I'm sitting at a desk all day, so it's not like I'm uh, running up and down any stairs and I'm not going to be doing anything active. So this by itself is pretty fine. Um, but one day when I start working outside of home, I'll test it and see how it works. But so far, just not really doing anything. It just gives me such a nice coverage. I've used this so many times on my channel before. So it's not like it's the first, <laughs> it's the first review. Uh, for concealer, I'm just going to go in with a Too Faced concealer. This is the Born This Way uh, in the shade Very Fair. I've had this for ages. I think I need to throw it away. It's a bit old. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to kind of use it a few more times because there is some... There is like some product left in there um obviously regardless if there's anything left it's way past it's however long i'm supposed to be using it but i do want to get another one or i want to get something quite similar to this because it just feels really nice um and i don't really know if it's full coverage because to be honest when the foundation has done the job um it's difficult for the concealer to actually show through sometimes especially when is quite similar to my foundation because I'm quite light already um, it's quite difficult sometimes to see um, how the concealers work but I mean when it's covering up my under eye bags it's looking good and I do become quite wrinkly quickly so I'm just gonna set down with my elf powder and I always feel like it's good to powder down I know a lot of people who have very oily skin and something it might not work to powder down as much but I feel like it is good to regardless of even if you have very dry skin to always powder down I feel like it's good for your skin to just feel that lock-in of the foundation if that makes any sense because I feel that with the powder your your skin is not really gonna like move around as much I mean I mean the foundation is not gonna move around that much um, so far everything is looking pretty good so I'm just gonna just add a bit more and then now we're going on to blush so I'm going with one of my favorite blushes is the elf putty blush and it's been a while since I've used this because I keep on using the uh, melt cosmetics one because I love it so much but I thought I would try this today because it's such a gorgeous color this is in the shade um, Hawaii no that's the thing, they don't, they don't put down the names and I've completely forgotten what it is, but you can see it's a nice red, so it's one of the red shades, I'll probably remember it later on, and I'll put it in the description if I remember what it's called. So I like to use, I sometimes like to use either a sponge or a, uh, one of my brushes, but I feel like the brush does a bit better when it comes to applying it. And what I shouldn't have done was put my um, setting powder everywhere, but that was my own mistake. So as you can see, that is just really, really nice. Uh, and I'm going to go that side as well to match it because I don't want to be red cheeked on one side. And yeah, this one I, I feel like is great for spring because it gives you such a nice glow as well. And they're only £3. So No, sorry, they're £5, these ones. So... Elf products have become one of my favourite, honestly, especially when it comes to like spring and no, again, no matter what the weather is, they're going to be great and especially like I said, you get a nice glow and their products are so decently priced as well. Like in my previous video, I used their uh, blush and highlight duo, which was just £3 and it the highlighter gave me the best glow. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and talking of glows, I'm going to go in with my Ofra Steph Toms highlighter. You don't, obviously you don't have to use any of the products that I'm using to feel like I'm glowing. <laughs> but it's just, if you have them, I think this is going to be perfect for like summertime, for spring, because it's such a glowy foundation um, and it will just make my skin radiate so much. So let's get this on. Yeah, as you can see, like straight away, that's just insane. <laughs> and it smells amazing too. It smells of cookie dough because um, her her um, palette is kind of called milk and cookies. So she, I think she said that she wanted to have like cookie dough smell, which is amazing. Of course, I've got my little, <laughs> my, my freaky nose, but I just, oh my God, this highlighter is so gorgeous. Amazing. I love 
when highlighters have that kind of wet look just because it makes it feel a bit more summery and a bit more kind of um it's more glowy on the skin to be honest so let's go on to eyes so i said i'm going to do like yellow and orange so for the yellows i'm going to use my cradle of filth palette by uh, VE Cosmetics and then for the orange I'm going in with my Forever Dynamic Revolution Dynasty palette which is part of my Project Pan so I'm going to go in with one of the yellows first because this palette has got three kind of yellows if I can pick it up and actually take it out <laughs> I have to be so careful because I don't want to rip this I'm still paying for it as well because I'm paying on, paying on clear pay so I'm paying in instalments. Oh, this has got an orange as well. But the thing is, this has got an orange shimmer and I feel like having these yellow shimmers might be much easier because uh, there's an orange matte in here. So I'm going to go in with Enslave and Vampire and then go in with the orange. So first, I might actually have to go in with the orange just to kind of make the top a bit more defined. So that shade is called Rain, which is this orange just here. And it's been so it's been a while since I've used this one on camera because it's part of my project pan, but I have been using it um off camera, like if there's certain days, well every day I've been using eyeshadow and lipstick in the morning, not a full face because there's no I just feel sometimes there's no point in me wearing a full face of makeup at home. But when it comes to eyeshadow and it comes to lipstick, I feel like I can just use those anyway and not have to worry about the redness on my skin because again during the summer it's gonna be very sensitive it's gonna be very painful so i need to be very careful with the amount of makeup that i wear um and just kind of the longevity that i keep it on and had taking it off as well but when i wear um eyeshadow and lipstick that doesn't affect my skin at all so this orange i'm going in with first when i was looking <laughs> i was looking on pinterest and i was like what what counts as like a spring look and because again I don't wear a lot of these shades so these shades for me are the ones that I rarely use like I use oranges and um, occasionally I use like a, a yellow but never as like an actual spring look so I felt like you know those shades and pastel shades I never wear pastel shades because for me I don't feel like they are as pigmented I don't know if that's just me being really stupid because obviously depending on the brand and everything they're gonna be pigmented but I just feel like I like to have like just bright colors like this as opposed to a pastel shade that's just my opinion but you know and, and everyone loves pastels and that's great so I'm gonna go in with Enslave just here which is a gorgeous uh yellow a very bright yellow so I was gonna take kind of a mid fluffy brush and we're just gonna use that uh, there's a little bit of fallout but I'll be very careful and I'm just going to put that in my um, crease if it will come up <laughs> again I've got to try and see how much I can pat this on I haven't got anything on my lid I've just got um, my foundation to be honest which is fine. Um, it's gonna blend it down. Hmm. It's not coming out as much as I wanted it to, but that's fine. I'm just gonna build it up, and then, like I said, we're gonna add, add the um, the shimmer on that as well, just to make it a bit more a bit more fancy. Because shimmers always make things a bit fancy, so. Good. Okay. Not much is coming up to be honest, and I think maybe if I added down the base, that might have been a bit more helpful. But again, springtime is always about. I mean, I mean, you can have subtle looks, but you can have really out there looks as well. Uh, I am going to go in with Vampire now, which again, like I mentioned, is the yellow shimmer. So we are going to wet the brush because we need some kind of payoff today uh, on this. So I just used one of my e.l.f. no sorry, my Colourpop shimmer matte shimmers. Oh, I'm just going to... So that's looking good. If it doesn't come out as much, I'm going to use some of the orange as well. 
so okay that's come out very well great I'm just going to put that on the lid actually because why not because that yellow didn't really come out as much so I feel like if I use the shimmer that'd be great that's better much better Okay. That's definitely springtime. <laughs> uh, gonna have to start getting used to doing some of these light shades, even though they just will not suit me at all. Again, like I, I've said, I like to use kind of dark shades and reds and purples and blues, and you can obviously still use them during spring because people just don't stop what they wear and what they use with the seasons i guess that's obviously a lot of what fashion is but i'm not a fashionista so i'm <laughs> i don't play by those rules <laughs> so this has gone on very well i think the setting spray has helped um even though i didn't use a setting spray again so that looks pretty cute so do i want to do anything else um I might go back in with that um, shimmer at the bottom of my lower lash line just to just a little bit because that will define my eyes a bit nothing too crazy and just blend them in a bit because why not Ugh. that's looking all right I hope I don't look too ill with the orange all right that's looking much better what i'm going to do off camera i'm going to do some eyeliner and i'm going to do some mascara because if i do it on camera it'll just take too long so i'll be right back okay i had to do my lips off camera as well because i thought it just save time so i guess when it comes to lips you can use like either a red or you can go for a nude and i thought today we'd go for a red because Red for me is going to be always the main choice, but when it comes to nudes, you can do like a nice kind of, just a nice dark nude to kind of, you know, staple the lips out a bit, just kind of like make them a bit more defined. So yeah, this is my finished look with my um, eyeliner. I just used my collection eyeliner and then my mascara. I just used the e.l.f. mascara. So this is looking really nice. I do feel like it's quite spring like and very different for me especially on the eyes <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to and don't forget to follow me on my social media because i'm always active on there and yeah i hope you're having a good spring hope you have a good summer as well and yeah i hope to see you very soon bye